Say that again. Your bed has to be made. By law. Hey, sir, go ahead and take your, your book back. Say say that again. Take your book back. I'll provide you with the information. Well, I've been behind you for five miles, and you've gone over the fog line three times. What's the fog line? But you're CDL, yeah. and you don't know what a fog line is. The, the white line? Yeah. All right, all right, let's get down with the trucker trooper shenanigans today. What's going on? Welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. Thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like what I do over here, support the channel by liking, subscribing, joining the channel for 99 cents. All that good stuff over here. You know what I'm saying? You guys know that the best conversation starts over here. So just we're just going to jump into it. Yo, trucker trooper shenanigans on TikTok. <laughs> this video, this verse video that we're going to talk about right quick, dude over here talking about bro need to make up his bed. And since his bed is not made up, he going to write him a ticket? He's going to write him up? I, I know the devil's lie over here. Let's check it out. Say that again. Your bed has to be made. By law. Hey, sir, go ahead and take your, your book back. Say say that again. Take your book back. I'll provide you with the information on it. Don't worry. And you can write me up on that too, ain't you? I need to see your uh, registration. You get, you got my, you took my book with you. Okay, is your insurance card new as well? Yes, sir. Okay. You got it all with you. That's fine. I also need to see your, uh, your medical cards on here. Yes, my medical cards on there. Every the bills, CDL. The bills of late. So my bed has to be made. Um. Mexican. By some law somewhere, right, officer? I'll tell you what, I'll go back and I'll look it up. Yeah. I'll show it to you. How about that? And if my bed's not made, which my bed's not made, you gonna write me up for that, officer? You gonna give me your stuff? You yes, sir, I'm working on it. Yes, sir, I'm working on it right now. Hold on a minute. Oh, wait, let me make sure that's it. Yeah. <sighs> Surely you're not going to write me up for my bed not being made off. All right, so in this video, I'm going to I'm just going to throw it out here. Look, listen. Stop re stop recording at the presumed incident. Okay? Here's what I mean. Try to get the whole situation. Don't just pick up your phone and ask the dude be like, "Yo, uh, tell me again." What did you say? Huh? What did you say? No, don't do that. Oh, if you had if you had your phone recording or whatever, then you wouldn't even have to worry about pulling it back up when he initially said something about the bed need to be made. I don't know if this dude joking or just whatever the case. I, I don't know. I never heard of that. I never heard of that, you know. Troopers pull me over, they give me an inspection, and they give, you know, and they send me on my way. They don't say nothing about that your bed need to be made. I mean, my bed's not made. I'm a guy, <laughs> but my bed's not made. I'm just going to throw it out there. But my bed needs to be made for whatever reason? Oh. But see, the overall, the overall thing of this right here is that you, I, I need you guys to have your cameras running so we could see the whole story, not the middle of the story. You know, it's like watching a movie. It's like coming in in the middle of the movie and you'd be like, what led up to it? You see the ending part, you see the middle part, but you want to know what led up to it. And this is what I did. This is what I hate about camera cultures. They always want to get it at that, at the, at the perceived action for their narrative. So I, I don't know if this state trooper is, is, is playing or just made a funny comment or whatever the case, but I, I haven't heard of nothing like that. So, bro, right here, my G got pulled over by DOT or by a state trooper, I guess. And what the state trooper is saying that he was all over the place. He was he was all over the place. He was over the over the fog line. What 
What the hell is a fog line? Let's find out what's going on in this video. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? You doing all right? Yeah. Okay, so PSP Jonestown actually called it in. That's why I was behind you. Multiple calls that you're going over the line. Are you falling asleep or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. I'm very well rested. Okay. Well, I've been behind you for five miles and you've gone over the fog line three times. What's the fog line? Bud. Your CDL the, and you don't know what a fog line is. The the white line? Yeah. I didn't go over the line not one time. Well, I mean, it's filmed on my car, it, so it's filmed we're not going to sit on the side of the road. I need your logbook, your license, and all your info now. You like? What's that? Are you upset? You're not going to argue a state trooper on the side of the road. Are we clear? Uh, I'm asking if you're upset. Like, that's it. Can I take off my seatbelt? Take your seatbelt off. Log your off. crying and whining like hey i'm a grown man just like you okay step out of the vehicle with your information we'll go back to my vehicle let me know if y'all want a part two it gets better how am i gonna give you my law what's that how am i gonna give you okay so dude over here saying that you know he got a call from several cities or whatever whatever maybe he was tired or whatever the case i don't know we 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 don't know but with this right here bro I commend you because you already had the camera rolling. So we get to see the narrative. We get to see the story from beginning, middle, and the end part. But you have a part two to this. But um, but in this particular situation, my old school guys, I'm reaching out to you. What the hell is a fog line? Because I haven't heard of that. I heard of the mustard and the mayo, the uh, the sunny side up, rubber side down, rubber ducky, all that CB talk. I heard it all, but bro, what what is the fog line? You mean to tell me the white line is the fog line? What is that? I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've been driving for quite a while, but, you know, these little terminologies and everything, I don't get it. And for this officer to go off on this young man like he did, like he's supposed to know, I mean, maybe the young man is new. A lot of you, a lot of these new drivers don't know all of this trucker lingo shit. Well, and, and, and just because we supposed to know? Oh, you're a CDL holder and you're a CDL driver and you don't know what the fog line is? Nah, I don't know what the fog line is. What you tell me what the fog line is like, what <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But here's the thing to this video, right quick, before we get on up out of here don't argue with them, they looking for an argument. The, the cops, state troopers, the DOTs, they always looking for something to get you wild up so they can, so they can add something. My advice, don't say nothing at all. Have your paperwork ready. Have your, your license ready. All your credentials ready. Hand it, hand it to him. And let him go ahead and do what he need to do. In any case. If they need to do a DOT inspection, just pay attention and listen to what they tell you to do. Uh, your signals, windshield wipers, lights, all that stuff. Hit the brakes, whatever, whatever, and keep it moving. You don't have to talk to him. You don't have to talk to him. You don't have to conversate with him. You don't have to conversate with him. Always listen to this right here. What you say and do can be used against you in a court of law. Trust me. They got their little camera on. Okay. They got their little camera on. So they're recording you too. And what you say and or do can be used against you in the court of law. That's why they always say you got the right to remain silent. You don't have to talk to them. Do you understand these rights? Do you understand these rights? You're not talking to them. You got the right to remain silent. <laughs> So don't, 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 don't do no arguments with them. Don't, like I said, don't even conversate with them. 
You know, just 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 keep it moving. That's it. That's it. That's all. You know, for this one and 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 the bed making one. Jeez. But like I said, bro right here must be a new driver. So I need my old school drivers to tap in and let me know what the hell of what the hell the fog line is. I know everything else, but what 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 is a fog line? Let me know in the comments below. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got pops. Urge right to Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pum, pum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.